Wow. All right, guys, welcome back to another episode. I'd like to say this one kicks us in the positive vibe, but I've ended up doing my backhand, and I'd like to say there's a cool story behind it, like going toe to toe with a kangaroo fox or wrestling a great white shark for a lobster or something like that. But it's as uh, simple as trying to get our Grundies and socks off the clothesline. So we've got a little apparatus that holds 30 or so little uh, different apparels on there. And yeah, reached up to try to get that off the Steph and yeah, away she went. So been resting up for the last couple of days. Um, but we've come over to the most highly anticipated camps for us on the east coast of the Air Peninsula. So yeah. Could you please get my phone? Really? Uh, got to keep the boss happy. Our brigadier master general here, so I'll grab a phone and I'll tell you exactly where we are. Hang on. Awesome and gorgeous little spot is Point Gibbon. It's been like on our bucket list for quite some time. And the backdrop of this place is just whoa, something else. You've got massive cliffs off over near the, the town, which we come through. Um, that's where you actually have your dump point water and everything like that over that way. And then you come along these pristine, gorgeous features. Like it is blowing a gull from the north and it's going straight over the top of us, which we sort of planned it that way, but yeah absolutely stunning beach fronts all the way up around the corner and that's where we were up at cow before so it's about 15 kilometers away here but this place is ten dollars per night you got to pay at the steel little uh ranges the blue boxes you take a little letter out fill your details in cut your 10 bucks in and away you go you can't book them um so yeah it's first in best dress sort of scenario but we met up with wheatland wanderers again they're just over here so we gave them one last hurrah with them before they head up through the center um, so we're going to chill and have a couple of drinks and everything like that. And Steph's already out, sun bacon. She has had some vitamin D, not the dirty kind. Vitamin D over there, sun bacon out. Kids are in the water. And this is winter in SA at its best. So, hey, little moo, enjoying it? Yeah, she's loving it. Sharky. This is her element, Sharky. Sharky. There's no Sharkies around here, I hope not. But. Yeah, this is yeah, point given. There's heaps of different spots along here. Um, I'll put up the wiki camp one here where we are. That way or that way or I don't know, somewhere around there. To show you exactly which campsite we are. This is one of the, probably the... What? I want my jacket. Your jacket? Yeah. Your water jacket? Yeah. Give me two minutes. Yes? Look how cute she is. I love your sunnies. Yeah, so there's different campsites along here that you can actually pick. We'll put the one that we are in, but they're just as good, if not better. Stones throw away from the actual beach itself. Look, can't get much better than this. Uh, mother nature at its full like she was absolutely blowing her nipples off last night she was just like full force probably 60 70 clay winds last night and this thing was rocking but next morning it is beautiful out there still a bit of wind around but we're cooking up what have we got where's he scones scones by the seaside oh my god what's this jam 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 and cream aren't you a lucky boy so I 
Hey? Four. I fight four. This is my seventh one if I eat these two. How do you go for four to seven, mate? So last night, at daybreak, Wheatland Wanderers, they got a, what was it? Australian salmon. It was a tank. Absolute tank. Like, it was a full bullet, so it's got me itching to do some fishing today. Got a bit of offshore wind, but they'll shift off this morning and then um, move on to their travels and we'll hang out here for the day. Get down and enjoy the water. You're going for a swim today, Wesley? Maybe. Maybe. Going to check the water temp, hey, mate? All right. Let's get this uh, organized chaos in the kitchen cleaned up and we'll get out of there. Fish so bad, not my back's like killing so oh, bad. Oh, it's like the man flu. Oh, shut up. Win, win. She's always something wrong with the bloke. All right, so it's turned into an absolute stellar day, and we're down here on the beach. We've got Wesley down here, he's throwing the line in. Hey, mate. And we've also got him doing some schoolwork at the same time. So we're doing some plus equations, aren't we, Wesley? So we've got two plus three equals what? What's the first one? Five. Good boy. Five. And then we got five plus four equals? Nine. Good boy. And then we've got a couple more. And then we're going to do some English. We're going to write some words. This is the hardest one. Look at this for a bloody schoolroom, mate. Can't get better than this. Just gotta get some fish now. As you're probably well aware, I suck at fishing and I'm trying not to pass that on to my son, so we're gonna try to get some fish today, aren't we, mate? And the girls are having some girl time up in the van and chilling. Oh, he's still explaining it to me. Five. To you guys at home. Two. Seven. And then I go add up my head there and my sample. Above? Nice friendly locals stop by for a bit of a, probably more to scare our fish away, but. It's nice and close, hey, Wizzy? Look at that. I want to go out. You want to go out? Yeah. Oh, it's freezing. The water temp is cold, isn't it? That's cool. Oh, there's some out a bit wider, too. Oh, by the time I get the drone up, they'll be gone. Over here, <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the good old saying is, you put in the time, you get the result. And I've definitely put in the time today with this fishing, and I've got a big hairy donut. So I'm consistent at being the world's worst fisherman. Anyway, don't matter. Uh, but look. If I was out spearing or something like that, I'd probably get some fish, but Steph is reluctant for me to go back in the water after the episode at Engine Point. And if you'd missed that it's sort of episode, I'd end up in hospital, so I'll put the little thumbnail there and one to check out. But yeah, it's, uh, the wind's dialed up again a couple of notches. Um, there is a severe weather warning issued on the Air Peninsula or the Spencer Gulf, so yeah, that's gonna be interesting. So it's definitely turned it up a couple of notches in terms of the wind. Nice sunny day though, so I don't know where it's coming from. So, this afternoon we've just been lazing around, kids have had some fun on the beach. It's actually, water temp's not too bad, so you can actually probably go for a swim, but we've got to uh, go pack up some stuff and bunker down the hatches and ride out tonight and see what uh, tomorrow brings. Oh, the 
change of plan. So while we were packing up, we might as well shift off because this system that looks like it's coming through later on tonight looks pretty gnarly. And we've sort of done gnarly before, haven't we, Bob? Yeah, we're not keen on gnarly. Remember TYB? I remember Breaking Hill. Oh, yeah. That's a good song title. Remember that night at TYB. Anyway. <laughs> 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 Maybe not. <laughs> um, so yeah, we got to shift off. Yeah, basically, we don't want to go through that again. You get no sleep. It's probably the worst thing you can endure in a caravan. It's just that rocking around and squeaks and noises and moans and groans. Not that sort of moan and groan, really. But <laughs> we don't do that. Yeah, none, of that happens. none of that happens ever, ever. So. <laughs> Oh, you're being so personal right now. You guys like personal. So we got to go back to our old little favourite. Uh, what's the name of that place? Cow. The Cow RV and Camping Campground. So we're going to do a night there, rejig our plans, rethink stuff, and head off in the morning somewhere else. So, yeah. We'll hunk it down tonight and bear through this uh, storm system because that place back there, is so exposed you just get the full brunt of it i reckon anyway so so we'll see you guys early bright and early in the morning not too bright, not too bright. So that ended up being a smart decision leaving Point Gibbo and coming back into Cow because the last couple of nights have been uh, pretty swirly with the wind and it picked up and yeah, we didn't want to end up sand and everything else through every crack and cranny of the van and the car and everything. So that turned out being all right, but we come back to Cow. Uh, we've shown Cow on a previous episode. So if you want to check that one out, we'll put it down here. But we've come into here and Wesley ran over to the little book center and um, book swap over here in the middle. Um, run by the Lions Club and he's ended up coming back and he said, Dad, I found this awesome book. It's like, where's Wally? I'm like, oh yeah, whatever. Have you got the book there? And he's bringing this thing back over. <laughs> See you guys! <laughs> <laughs> Fellow Wonderlander right there. And he come back with this book and he goes, Dad, it's like, where's Wally? And I'm like, oh yeah, what is it? And he goes, where is Bin Laden? I'm like, say that again? And I had a look at it and I'm like, Wow, this is very controversial. Uh, what's that word? Controversial. Con controversial. Controversial. Anyway, I started looking through it, and yeah, um, I don't know how this got through publishing. Like honestly, <laughs> well, I hold that for us. It's got like the gun hut, bombs and stuff, and chainsaws and everything. But this thing, these are the guys that you gotta look for. You gotta look for Bin Laden. You look crazy, loopy, freaky, weirdo, bomb, bomb, Eric, Mooney, this guy Mooning, and all these guns and stuff. And, and I was like, like, that is not kid friendly at all. No, and then then it gets even worse. Like they got Paris, so he's going to bomb Paris, London. Oh my gosh. Spain, Amsterdam, and then Hong Kong, and then it's just cool. full on. Like, and it's even got Australia, like Sydney Opera Harbour House Bridge. and Sydney yeah. Harbour Bridge. Wow, like, that's one of the weirdest and wackiest things we've ever seen on the road, depending on. Um, but today, we're moving on, we, the wind is low, so it's a good time to shift up the coast a little bit more, because obviously the wind, over the last couple of days, if we end up moving there, we would have just doubled our fuel and it wouldn't be safe or anything like that. So, today's move day and we're going to get on the road and we've got an epic camp picked out now, which is above Wyala, so we're going to go fill up at Wyala, finally get to an Audi. Yeah. We haven't been to an Audi in what, six months? Like yeah, we're, we're frothing off that. Even if it's the crappiest Audi in all of Australia, we are frothing to get there. So <laughs> we're gonna hit there first and then kick out to this camp. So we'll go do that now.
So as you can see, the scenery around here on this little tourist drive was fantastic. But uh, I've sort of stuffed up a bit and didn't realize Steph's phone was really, really flat. And now the drone's up there and I've got no way of bringing it down. So it's, there it is right there, just hovering away. And the battery's gone flat, which controls the controller, which now I've got in the van charging. Controller's still on. Absolute chaos mess, obviously, but. Yeah, but you're the dingus that said that and we're trying to charge the phone up so we can bring it back down. So we've got about, I don't know, four minutes <laughs> before it crashes into the ocean. <laughs> what a dingus. I can see it, look. Where is it? Oh, where'd it go? I've just seen it before. Where's that sun? Uh... No, just get the... I can't get it down yet. Mm -hmm. It's up there. Steph's is peaking dark again, aren't you? Oh. I've seen it before. I pointed it out before. I could see it, but there it is. Oh, there. No, it, as soon as I plug it in, it'll power down again. And I won't be able to bring it down. Just give it a couple of minutes. We've got a couple of minutes up our sleeve. Oh shit, I just turned the DJI up off. Oh, you dingo. Oh, All right, it's gonna crash in the ocean, you watch. Now I can't see it. Did it come down? Oh, what a stuff up. I don't want to lose this little mini drone, mate. Shit, lift up the door. <laughs> um, will it come back to home? Once it gets low on battery, but it'll go all the way down there where I started. But have a look at that coastline. This is... I've worried? never heard Seriously? about this. I'm no. not worried. No, nah, she's right. She's in hover mode, mate. We're about to get a storm. See, there it is up there. Wait, can you see it? Yeah, see. Okay, go get the... Go get it. Stop freaking out, mate. Seriously? We just We're in a parking spot. Look, a big P for parking. We're chilled. We've got We're beautiful view. We're in the middle view. of the road. Suck it in. There's a storm coming. Our drone's in the air. <laughs> she's right, mate. She'll be right. Maybe. <laughs> All right. On another little side note, our dear little daughter, Gorgie. Georgie. Georgie Gorgie. Gorgie. Has um, snapped the lid off the toilet. And I'm not meaning the main lid. I mean the lid where it stops all the poop coming back out. So every time we travel, we get an awesome mess in our toilet at the moment. Yeah. You're still peeking, aren't you, about the drone? Give it a minute. So, yeah, that's another thing to throw on the mix at the moment. We've ordered another canister, but, yeah, at the moment. The especially thing. going down the, the corrugation rows that we just done. Oh, yeah, I was just knocking around. Be like a poop milkshake. Anyway, we'll go get this drone down first, and then we'll get to camp, because it's getting late, and then it is a long weekend. We didn't even know it's a long weekend, and I hate trying to find campsites on long weekends. So. Okay, I think we've got the drone sorted. The phone's charged and Aaron's bringing it down. We've got 2% battery, so it's coming in super quick. Can you see it? Ah, oh, home sweet home. Come here, little buddy. Woo! Yo! Saved a thousand dollars. Oh my god. I don't know about that actually. Which this? Hi. This down here. Yeah. Yeah, just be careful. Seen before. These big smooth rocks everywhere. This is strange, isn't it? Whether you're like on a different planet, mate. Ooh. That's solo. Skin and rocks here. Yeah, it's rock stackers, mate. Rock stackers. I'm surprised there's not big rock stacks everywhere. I don't think many too, too many people come down this way. No. <laughs> I don't even know how we got down here. Like, just oh. one thing led to another, and here we are. Hey, again, you're like, let's go up this road. It was not. That it was so you. See what I mean? <laughs> All right, we 
we're finally at camp. It took a lot longer and we got here a lot later than expected. Thanks to Steph's little uh, point down that road and I follow or I shoot down that road and oh, yeah, instantly re regret it. So, <laughs> what'd you say? Little, little said, yeah, pit bull in the background. Pit bull in the background. Always blaming me. Yeah, because it is your fault. It's all a part of the adventure. Yeah. Isn't that what they say? Look at the clothes hanging up in the background. That's that stupid thing that done my back in. Getting That's, that thing off of This it. is awesome. You can hang up like two loads of washing on it. Yeah, I'll get side view so people can see. Yeah, bring, come in. Right. Come in and I'll show. Boop. I think we got this from Mitre 10 for like $37. I saw another family with it. I was like, I need to have that. Yeah, comes and in handy, then, oh. Yeah, so when it's raining outside, it hangs like two loads of washing on it. It's pretty and light you, too, though. Hangs off the hatch handle there. Probably yeah. not ideal, but... Are oh, we heading off the, the awning as well? Yeah. So, anyway. Come yeah. On. But anyway, I'll, I'll show you where we are. We're at... Where are we? Po Shut up. I can't pronounce this. I, I, if you haven't gathered already, I'm pretty dyslexic. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah. Well, I come up with a word to describe a person that can't pronounce or write or get words muddled up. That's really hard to pronounce. Like, that's just a Ricky moment. But anyway, we're at Point Lowly. <laughs> Point Larry, Mike Larry. That's a bad boys moment. But anyway, we're here and it's absolutely magic. Like, I'm blown away. Since we've rolled in here, I'm just like spellbound with like this. This. Can you stop ripping on me, mate? This. This is awesome. And it's got some sort of range over there. I don't know. You found out the range in the background over there, that looks wicked, but it has one big thing this time of year, which I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to freeze my little mangoes off doing it, but I'm going to do it tomorrow and I'll take you guys for the ride. So we're going to turn in tonight, have dinner, get the kids to bed, have an early night, and we're going to get up in the morning early and go over and do this. So keep watch guys, this is going to be awesome. last night we had I don't know Apache gunship bloody mozzies in the van last night so yeah Missy didn't get a good night's sleep did you <laughs> don't put it in my face like that oh well you gotta you're talking yeah so yeah no, the mozzies <laughs> were not kind to us no nah, they were a bit I of a was... oh talking about it, look they're everywhere here. Oh, I missed him that's one thing yeah point, the flies and the point lowly is full of mozzies yeah so. beautiful but yeah just yeah, and then I nearly got a, a full attack by a kangaroo this morning, which was like the size of a bear. Uh-oh. It was huge. I wish I captured it. On Steph the was in the van laughing her head off <laughs> while I'm over there trying to get nice and huge. close. Yeah. He's chasing him. He was running around like a little kid. But we're at the attraction. I'm getting suited up. I am going diving again, even though Steph is not really on board with it. I... No, I'm but right. I'm only going shallow diving, so it shouldn't be too bad. But you were shallow diving when that thing happened yeah, anyway. No, there isn't really. Anyhow. Anyway. But I'm going to go do it anyway because it's something really, really cool. I've always wanted to do it and we're in the right season for it. So I'm going to get suited up. I'm going to head down there now. We're actually in the car park and there's heaps of people here. Check it out. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, this is going to be wicked. Oh, wee. <laughs> wee. Wee. <laughs> <laughs>
Alright guys, we're back at Point Lowly and I've got to say that was one of the most incredible experiences I've ever had like being around these giant cuttlefish at this time of year in this place is just amazing. They're just like little aliens. Hey, I've shown you a couple of photos already. She hasn't seen most of the footage but the alien little faces and everything on. And beautiful cut, like such beautiful colours. Yeah. Of them. yeah, they're yeah. crazy little creatures. So if you do want to do this, they're only a certain time of year. It's between... Uh, June and July are the best months. But May to August is yeah, when... Yeah, May to August. But I did speak to a lady on the rocks and she did say she went a little bit earlier one time and didn't see They weren't any. here. But June, July, 100% yep. you'll see. So June, July, they're the Australian giant cuttlefish. They get up to 60 centimetres in length and above and they're way up to 5 kilos. So they're quite big. Underneath the water, they're actually... It's hard to gauge how big they are. You're swimming up to them and they're quite... Like, they flare themselves out and they're just... Yeah just astonishing really like yeah. they're so cool underneath there but um i'm gonna put the, like the wiki camp little map here where you can actually do it you don't have to pay anything it's 100 percent free there is dive groups and the glass bottom boat tour that you can actually do as well yeah. they look pretty cool yeah it's pretty exp it is expensive but uh, yeah. i suppose it's a once in a chance once in a lifetime chance. Yeah, <laughs> if you don't want to get in the water yourself. But. Yeah, I wish you could have come. That would have been like the perfect sort of entry level dive I thing for you. To. I'm definitely going to look for a wetsuit. Yeah, and we've seen so many little groms down there getting in the water because it's honestly like I could stand up and it was probably up to my nipples. So. My nipples. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're back at Lowly. Oh, here's the groms. Say hello. Crabby. Hello. You're going to show you crabbies? Oh, they've been crabbing again. All right, go put them back in the water. Big crabby! So yeah, like we're back at Point Lowly now. <laughs> <laughs> she tried to throw them up at step. No. She's a demon. She looks cute, but she's a demon. <laughs> so we're going to be back here. I'm zonked because that water temp was like freezing. I only could last probably 10 or 20 minutes at a time doing the filming. So yeah, I've just pumped in hot chocolates and... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> warm showers, warm showers, and everything. So yeah, we're just gonna relax. I'm just spent now. So we'll see you guys in the morning. Have you got any rubbish? Oh, hey, what a night! Wasn't it? Mm. It was an interesting one. We got zero sleep again. And honestly, these little blood sucking ticks with wings. Full blown attack last night. Like, first night was, I reckon they sent the scouts out to check the perimeters of our place and, you know, check our defenses and stuff. But last night, it was full strategic, full ambush. Like, it was crazy, eh, Bob? Mm. It was just. So tired. And they sent C 17s, bombers, bloody. F-18s, Apache Chinooks, the whole lot, because they were everywhere. It was just strategic attack, like, and there's remnants everywhere in the van because old Karate Kid over here just went <laughs> haywire with a bloody tea towel. Oh my God. So we'll be cleaning that this afternoon, but yeah. Well, the weather's turned on here a little bit. We've got a bit of wind coming through, so we're gonna pack up, um, as you can see, getting the rubbish ready and everything. But Plus we're not keen to get ambushed again tonight. No, nah, we, we're over it. <laughs> It's a lovely place, like it's it's absolutely gorgeous. Like you see dolphins come through and everything else, and and like the the cuttlefish thing was just mind blowing. So we're gonna get packed up and move on. Um, we'll wrap up this episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. We do really appreciate it, and we we love seeing you out here. So if you do see us, feel free to come up, have a chin wag, and everything. Um, we really do love it, but. Make sure you watch this one and this one. Make sure you like, subscribe, and follow us as well. It really does help us out. And uh, we'll see you next time. Peace out. Cheers, guys.